Good morning everyone. I am Anupama, Industrial Engineering student of 2023 batch of CET. Today we are going to do a problem on the topic impact of a jet of water on an unsymmetrical moving curved vein when the jet strikes tangentially at one end of the tip. Let us first look into the question. A jet of water having a velocity of 12 meter per second strikes a curved vein which is moving with a velocity of 5 meter per second. The vein is symmetrical and is so shaped that the jet is deflected through 120 degree. Find the angle of the jet at inlet of the vein so that there is no shock. What is the absolute velocity of the jet at outlet in magnitude and direction and the work done per unit weight of water? Assume the vein to be smooth. Now always before heading to the answer, let us draw the figure properly. So here we have the curved vein which is moving in this direction with the velocity u equal to 5 meter per second. Now first let's draw the velocity triangles at both the inlet and the outlet. At the inlet we have v1 which is the velocity of the jet. We have u1 which is the velocity of the curved vein. We have vr1 which is the relative velocity of vein and jet at the inlet. Now we know that v1 has both horizontal as well as vertical components. Here VW1 is a horizontal component and VF1 is a vertical component. Now we have alpha which is the angle between velocity of the jet and the horizontal and it is also called the guide blade angle and we also have theta which is the angle between the relative velocity and the horizontal. Now similarly let's consider the velocity triangle at the outlet. We have V2 which is the velocity of the jet, VR2 which is the relative velocity Similarly, we have the uh, horizontal as well as vertical components for V2. VW2 is the horizontal component and VF2 is the vertical component. We also have U2 which is the velocity of the curved vein. Then we also have phi and beta which is similar to alpha and theta from the inlet triangle. That is phi is the angle between the relative velocity and the horizontal. Beta is the angle between the velocity and the horizontal. Now let's just note down the given details. We have velocity of jet V1 equal to 12 meter per second, velocity of vein U1 equal to 5 meter per second. Now in the question it is given that the vein is smooth. So we can take U equal to U1 equal to U2 equal to 5 meter per second. Now we have also given in the question that angle of deflection of jet theta equal to 120 degree. Now from the figure you can see that this is 120 degree which is the angle of deflection. We can see that theta plus phi plus 120 degrees will add to 180 degree as from the figure. Theta plus phi plus 120 degree equal to 180. So theta plus phi equal to 60. Now in the question it is given that the vein is symmetrical. So theta equal to phi equal to 30 degree. Before we go back to the answer let us note down what we have to find from the question. We have to find the angle of jetted inlet that is the alpha. We have to find velocity. The, that is absolute velocity at the outlet that is V2 we have to find it in both magnitude and direction direction meaning we have to find the value of beta and we have to find the work done per second per unit weight for the first part of the question that is to find alpha we consider the triangle ABC and we apply the sine rule to this triangle to apply the sine rule we have this angle to be 30 minus alpha so when we apply the sine rule we'll get AB by sin 180 minus theta equal to AC by sin 30 minus alpha. That will be equal to V1 by sin theta equal to U1 by sin 30 minus alpha. 12 by sin 30 equal to 5 by sin 30 minus alpha. We have V1 and U1. So we have substituted the values. Now we will find sin 30 minus alpha. Uh, we get it as sin 12.02 degree. So then we uh, equate the two values and we get alpha equal to 17.98 degrees. So we have found the first part of the answer alpha. Now again for the second part of the answer we apply sine rule to triangle ABC again. So we have V1 by sine 180 minus theta equal to VR1 by sine alpha. That is 12 by sine theta equal to VR1 by sine 17.98 because we have found the answer of alpha and from that we will get VR1 we get it as 7.41 meter per second. Now that we have found the value of VR1, let us look into the triangle ABD. That is this complete triangle. 
So we have Vw1 equal to V1 cos alpha. So that is 12 into cos 17.98. So we have Vw1 equal to 11.41 meter per second. So now to find the absolute velocity of jet at the outlet, that is to find V2, we, can, we consider the figure again. So the angle made by V2 at the outlet with the direction of motion of wheel. So this is the direction of motion of wheel and the angle made by V2 with the direction of motion of the wheel will be 180 minus beta from the figure. Now since it's given in the question that vein is smooth, we have Vr2 equal to Vr1 equal to 7.41 meter per second. Now we consider the outlet and we can check the figure again. We consider the triangle EFH that is the complete triangle. We have Vr2 cos phi equal to U2 plus Vw2. This is Vr2 cos phi. Vr2 cos phi will be this line that is U2 plus Vw2. We substitute the values for Vr2, phi, U2 and we find the value of Vw2. So we get Vw2 equal to 1.417 meter per second. Now again from the figure we have Vf2 equal to Vr2 sin phi and we find the value of Vf2. We get the answer as 3.705 meter per second. Now again we consider the figure and we find the value of tan beta. We know that this is the angle beta, so tan beta will be equal to Vf2 by Vw2. Substitute the values for Vf2 and Vw2 and we find the value of beta. Now that we have found the value of beta, we can find the angle made by the velocity V2 at outlet with the direction of motion of wave. That will be 180 degree minus beta, that is 110.93 degrees. With the angle made by V2 at the outlet, we have found the direction of absolute velocity of jet. Now we have to find the magnitude of the velocity. So now from the figure we can easily find the magnitude of absolute velocity of jet that is V2 velocity of jet at the outlet. So V2 will be equal to Vf2 root of Vf2 square plus Vw2 square. We substitute the values for Vf2 and Vw2 and we get the value of V2. Now we have found the velocity, uh, the absolute velocity of jet in both magnitude and direction. Now the last part of the question is to find the work done per second per unit weight of water striking per second. So we know that the general formula equal to 1 by g into vw1 plus or minus vw2 the whole into u. Here since beta is acute angle we can find the work done with the easiest formula 1 by g into vw1 plus vw2 the whole into u. We substitute the value of G, VW1, VW2 and we find the value of work done per uh, second per unit weight of water. I hope you have understood how to do this problem and similar questions like this. Thank you.